Hey guys, so I just finished watching the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul series. Um, yeah, two weeks. I know that most of you probably finished watching that two weeks ago, and I'm assuming that if you're watching this video that you've seen the series, okay? Because this that's what this video is going to be about, is I'm going to tell you what I think about this, and um, I would appreciate any input that you have as well in the comment section. Um, when this series first launched, and the reason why it took me so long to watch it, I wasn't really interested in watching it. And um, that's because I kind of knew who Jake Paul was, but not really. And um, so the way this all came about, or the the, way, the reason why I changed my mind about watching the series, Shane Dawson has been doing documentaries on other YouTubers for a while now. Um, I think the first one he did was on Graveyard Girl, who I am subscribed to, Bunny. And um, I thought he did a great job with that. And then he did another one on Jeffree Star, and I felt like that one was even better. And then when he announced that the next one was going to be Jake Paul, I was like, yeah, I think I know who that is. And I don't, I don't really want to watch that. And some time went by and somehow, some way, everything is connected, you guys, synchronicity. <laughs> um, somehow, some way, I came across the song Karma. And if you don't know, it's a new song by Erica Costell. Who is Erica Costell? She was, up until recently, Jake Paul's girlfriend. And it hasn't been confirmed for sure by either party involved, but the rumor is now that they are no longer together. But I digress. Um... So I came across this song by Erica Costell, and it's a really catchy song. And after only hearing it one time, I had the chorus stuck in my head the whole rest of the day. And I kept singing it to myself. I, I already knew it after only hearing it once. And I was like, wow, this is a really catchy song. Who is this girl anyway? Who is this Erica Costell? So I started doing some research and I was like, oh, she has a YouTube channel too. She's not just a singer. And then I realized from there that she was Jake Paul's girlfriend. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should watch the series after all because I was kind of intrigued with her. And I thought, okay, if this is her boyfriend, then I'm going to watch this. So I watched the whole series, and my thoughts on this are if, she, if Erica Costell and Jake Paul are broken up because Jake Paul did this series, that would be awful. Uh, I feel like the way Shane did this, I feel like he tried to be as neutral as possible I think he went into this trying to be neutral, but then started to realize certain things along the way. And I think he came out of it realizing that maybe Jake Paul isn't the, the asshole that everybody thinks he is. And also, I mean, he's a person, so... Shane seems to always try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But there was some different things here that I saw going on that kind of bothered me. And I'm just wondering if it hit anybody else the same way. Now, you would have to have seen the series and also, to a certain extent, just at least have watched a few of Jake Paul's videos to kind of get the gist of what his videos are about, what kind of channel it is, what is he doing. Um, 
And I feel like his videos maybe do appeal to a younger demographic than what I normally watch. And um, so you have to keep all that in mind. But there were some things that Shane did during the series that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I feel like he would never in a million years have said some of the things that, that he said to Jake, to Bunny or Jeffrey when he was doing documentaries on them. And I don't think it's really fair. I feel like he was giving a lot of unsolicited advice to Jake during that last interview. And I feel like he was really critical of him and just criticized him in ways that weren't necessarily fair. Um, there were a lot of things that came up during this that made it very clear that Jake is not quite the person that I think people think he is. And if you watch the series, how did it hit do? Did it how did it hit you? Did it did it change your opinion of Jake Paul for the better or for the worse after you watch the series? Like I didn't like I said, I didn't even really know who he was. I wasn't familiar with his channel. Um, the way that it came across to me was that he seems to be a okay person, but doesn't, um, d didn't have the best upbringing. I feel like, I'm just going to be honest here, I feel like his father really comes across like an asshole. And if this is the man that raised him, then that has a direct effect on who Jake is. I mean, he's not a kid. He's an adult. So he needs to be able to separate himself from that now. He's, what, like 22, I think, something like that. So he's old enough to know better. But I feel like he has grown up and has changed a lot. I feel like his brother, Logan is a lot like his father and I don't feel like the apple falls far from the tree there. If you watched the series then you know that Logan ended up having sex with Jake's ex-girlfriend and I feel like he and Alyssa did it just to hurt Jake. And Jake seems to be putting all the blame mostly on Alyssa, like she orchestrated this and she schemed this, but Jake is just as much at fault as Alyssa is because he didn't have to go along with this if she did do that. If you listen to the part where Shane interviews Alyssa, she made it sound like she didn't plan it, but mm, I don't know. If, if she was really hurt, by everything that happened and the way Jake treated her and the way he never really acknowledged it as a relationship that they were just hooking up. Um, I can understand why she would be hurt by that, but at the same time, to do something like that, that makes her, in my mind, a million times worse than him because she set out to try to hurt him, whereas I don't think that's what he was doing when he was with her. He probably knew that she really cared about him and that it was hurting her, that he wouldn't commit to the relationship, but I don't think that he was trying to hurt her. Um, I mean, she's an adult too, so she should have realized at some point that Maybe this wasn't a good relationship for her or healthy. And if she chose to stay in it and stay with him, then that was her choice to do so. And also it was a business thing too, because maybe she needed to be there for financial reasons. But the whole thing is so messed up on so many levels. 
with so many people. And there's even more drama that goes into all this. Uh, if you watch the series, you know what I'm talking about with the whole um, claims of abuse. And then there was the assault with the, uh, what was that girl? The uh, Some kind of assistant or one of the Team 10 people or something. I don't know. But I feel like um, Jake has since gone back to making videos and it seems like it's same old, same old now. I don't feel like he's going to change anything about his videos, despite the fact that Shane tried to make him feel guilty about, uh, advertising his merch or trying to get people to buy the merch. I mean, isn't that the whole point of having merch is trying to sell it and that's just par for the course but he made him feel like because his audience or his demographic is young that it was wrong to try to be always pushing the merch but uh i don't know i went into this thinking i was gonna hate jake paul and you know he's he's not my favorite person in the world but I feel like like Shane didn't really give him a fair shot. And I think part of that was because um, he was afraid that he was going to get backlash if he tried to humanize Jake Paul or make people feel bad for him. And I feel like, if anything, maybe he was too hard on him. And... If he, if Jake and Erica really did break up and it's because of him doing this series, it may have completely des destroyed, ruined his life because it seemed like, I mean, I don't know because the way that things are portrayed on YouTube videos aren't, isn't necessarily reality, but it seemed like watching these videos that they had a really good, solid relationship, Jake and Erica. And if that's over now because of this series, I can't help wondering if... Does Shane feel responsible for this? For, I mean, I don't think Jake... If Jake had trust issues before and now he and Erica are broken up, I mean, if Logan slept with Alyssa and now he and Erica are broken up because of something related to this documentary, does Jake ever have a chance at any kind of a normal relationship or a loving, trusting relationship? Because Erica kept saying, you know, I'm different, I'm not going to leave, but... Maybe she was justified in leaving. Maybe there's a damn good reason why she left. I mean, if Jake cheated on her, then that would be justification. I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that Jake has already cheated on Erica in the past. But that may have been like during the early parts of their relationship where maybe they hadn't really committed to each other yet. But... If he, could, if he cheated on her now, especially after everything that came to light and I don't know, I'm wondering if maybe he did it to try to push her away or to test her in some way to see if she would leave. And if he did, that was pretty dumb, pretty stupid, and he should not. But I mean, none of us will ever really know the truth about any of this. But I just, I don't know, I i would just have to say, um, I just realized I've been talking about this for 14 minutes and I wasn't intending to make this this long of a video, but it, it really, the series got to me um, more than I thought that it would have, considering I didn't even really know who Jake Paul was when I started the series. But... Um, Three, I came away from this with three things. I ended up liking Jake Paul a lot more than I thought I would, and I, I did feel bad for him, and I really feel bad for him now if it's true that he and Erica are broken up. 
Um, the second thing is I feel like Shane was not only did not go too easy on him, I feel like he went too hard on him and I feel like he should have been a little bit more respectful about the way he talked to him, the, the questions he asked him or the way giving too much of his own input and saying, oh, here's how I feel about that. Well, why does it matter how you feel about that? It's not your life. So I didn't like that. But the end, my end result of this whole thing is that I hope that Shane continues to make documentaries because they are really good and he is really good at it. But I feel like he needs to be careful that he doesn't overstep his boundaries because otherwise nobody's going to want to talk to him. Uh, after this and the effect that it's probably going to have on Jake's career, I don't know that people are going to want to talk to him anymore or do a series like this because of the backlash or the negative effect that it will have had on Jake and his career. So I don't know. That's what I think. Let me know what you think. I'm sure that a lot of you also know all the parties involved, you know, not personally, but from an entertainment standpoint. And what did you think of everything that I talked about? What did you think of Shane's series? And who would you like to see him do a series on next? Um, I don't really have anybody in mind. I don't know who his contacts are or who he'd be willing, willing to talk to, but I hope he does stick to this documentary format because I think it he's really found his niche in, uh, in YouTube videos. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.